All right, so I've used this knife long enough, I think, to, to do a full review on it. And this is the Cinque Dea by Dagger Knives. So um, in the end, I'm gonna do a comparison to the TI Lite by Cold Steel, just because they, they both fulfill the same role. Um, and in if you bought this these knives, you would buy them for the same thing. They're, they're basically, basically thrusting knives, uh, stiletto type dagger, dagger knives. So I'll do that in the end, just so that, since this is a much more common knife, uh, people at home would be able to, to have sort of an idea of what, what this knife is basically capable of. So um, just off the bat, uh, I don't use my folding knives. Um, like I don't use them in anything that's hard to use. So I have, I have fixed blades that I use for work all the time. And those things, if you've seen some of my videos, some of them have like, I've gotten like little dings or, or slightly bent um, edge, stuff like that. Uh, but that's because I actually, I mean, I, I chop with those and things like that. I don't do that with folding knives. Uh, so this is just something that on the weekends, I'll carry it uh, sometimes around the house. And I just use them for just, just normal things like cutting plastic packages, cardboard, um, you know, little small things that aren't really um, of much abuse towards a knife. So, so just given that, um, overall, I think it's a very, very good knife. Um, there is some drawbacks and I'll talk about that. I'll just try to separate it in sections and I'll talk about that like a little bit later, but, um, I like how it opens very nice, you know, nice and smooth. It closes very nice. It's a very nice, well, well made overall knife. I mean, it just aesthetically is super pleasing. I've talked about this in, in the other video I had before when I just did like an introduction of it. It has the G10 on it is like very nice. The, all the little, all the little uh, rays and little cutouts it has right there. Um, the little, uh, little jimping for traction, the jimping on the, on the uh, liner lock. And so there's a difference, I talked about this too before, but there's a difference from the, the little quillion you actually use to open the knife, this one the, to the one that, that you don't use. So this is nice and smooth. The one you do use has a little jimping. Little th touches like that are super nice. The, let me close it and open it again. The lockup on this is nice. If you see it, it's basically halfway, which is, which is good. Um, the, the liners are nice and thick. It gives this knife knife a nice heft to it. The handle itself, um, when you have it in this in this uh, grip, it has a nice heft to it. The balance on it is like very nice. Here's for my hand. The balance point is like basically at the, the front of my finger, which is something I like for, for a dagger. So overall, very well thought out, very nice knife. Um, it's the the blade itself is not too thin but it is the behind the edge is a lot thinner than the ti light not a lot but it's it, it is thinner than the ti light and and the d2 steel on this just from sharpening and stuff like that and just using it it's it's very it's it's well heat treated then basically so i haven't like i said i haven't put it through abuse so um just from just keeping an edge and stuff like that, it's nice. Now for the negative part. So this is gonna be contradictory, a little dumb too, but I, I don't like the liner lock. Um, and I, I know I said, and it is, it is a very well done liner lock. It, is, it locks up perfectly. I mean, it is as good as a liner lock as I have used in any other knife. So even when I've sharpened this thing too, even though this is a, Five and a half, it's more, slightly more than a half, five and a half inches, the blade. When I'm out to the tip sharpening, the lockup on this thing is perfect. There's no wiggle, no wobble, nothing. Perfect. So the problem I have though is that mentally, um, I, I'm used to carrying a triad lock. So, and, and I've gone back to it. So I have carried a, a cold steel spot, a first generation for like the longest time. And I keep going back to that knife. So that's that's kind of like the dumb part because it's just I just even though this is is would be adequate would be it's it's over it's it's built 
strong enough to, to basically do anything you want it to do and in terms of self-defense, which is what this I see this knife as, as a self-defense knife and then everything else knife. Um, I still prefer uh, something that is way overbuilt rather than just like overbuilt. And then that's, yeah, that's that part. Now, the contradictory part is <laughs> the main reason, too, I bought this knife is because I, I see it as a little piece of art. I like it. Um, I really like how it looks. And this knife would not have worked with any other lock um, if they would have used a frame lock. Uh, it, all of this would have to either be steel or there would be a piece of steel for the lockup. And that would have messed up the the symmetry of it, which they, they went into like very, very, like uh, it took a lot of work to make it all symmetrical. The lines, the quillions, the, the way this locks up flush, the, the blade itself locks up flush to the side, each side. Nothing, nothing in this knife is asymmetrical like this. That doesn't have to be. So this needs to be, this liner lock piece needs to be sticking out and is one of the only things basically that is asymmetrical. So, so beautiful design, very nice. <laughs> I was about to open it, try to open it to the other side. Um, and it wouldn't have worked with any other lock. Uh, a back lock wouldn't have worked, nothing else. It, it has to be a liner lock. So that's the contradictory part. The only problem I, I have with this knife is, is a mental thing. It's just um, I'm used to having something that's way overbuilt. And, and th even though this is, just, just to reiterate, even though this is completely enough, um, I, would want, I still would want a little bit more. Okay, I, but given that, I would still choose this over the tie light, personally. I see these both as basically, um, I have even though I haven't done any destruction tests, I trust these both about the same. So yeah, okay. So now I'm just gonna do just a quick comparison um, before I just start cutting stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna cut some bottles with these things. And before I do that, so just, just a comparison. This, the tie light is about an inch longer than than the Chinquidea. It is half an inch longer from the blade and then half an inch longer from the handle. So the thickness, and just concentrate on this part here where the quillion is, it is, the tie light is slightly thicker too. Here's the lockup too. This has been used more, but I'll show you a knife that's been used less. Um, that's also a tie light, which is this guy. And Here's the lockup just to show you. So more, more inward. This is a halfway. It's kind of hard to see because of the thickness of the, the liner. And then in terms of heft, they feel about the same, but the balance point on this is here. So even though your hand would be here, the balance point is there. And then for this one, like I showed before, the balance point is basically here. So, and then in terms of width, you can almost fit two of these, a little bit less in the width of the Cinque Dia. So also, yeah, like I said, it's behind the edge, the Cinque Dia is thinner than then the tie light, and just to show you the sharpness, um, even though I hate shaving myself with knives, um, it's the only way I can think of doing it because when you go to, to, to thicker edges, they suck at cutting paper. So it, it's not really a fair, fair comparison. Let's see if I can do this on camera. So they're both, this is slightly sharper just because it's it's thinner behind the edge Let's see get this and get it but not by much all right so yeah all right so this is going to be the test i'm going to do i'm going to poke a water bottle full of water with a piece of shirt over it 
And then I'm gonna try to cut um, these bottles freestanding in sequence. So water bottle with water, empty water bottle, and then empty gator bottle. So I'm not expecting these knives to go that far in this sequence because the only knife that's been able to actually cut a freestanding gator bottle that's a folding knife has been this guy, the Spot XL. And you can see the size difference, not not to mention the thinness behind the edge and all this other stuff. So, so yeah. So we'll see what happens, and I'll start with the just the poking part. All right, TLA. So show you that in a second. So easily went through the shirt, and easily went through the bottle. We actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. I didn't think I moved that much, but yeah, I guess so. All right. So next up, the Chinguidea. All right, Chinguidea. Show you in a second too. So this is the second hole, same thing. So this isn't much of a test. I mean, these things this is what they're made up made for um and then i mean and they're i move less i guess with this one but yeah okay now the cutting test so fine All right. Also good. Okay, so this is where we might start getting variations. So, empty water bottle. So, I'll try it one more time. And I don't know where the other end. Oh, here it is. So, yeah. Okay. Better. I'll do the same one, different side though. All right, so I'm just gonna do one hit each. Um, if these knives weren't able to do the empty water bottle, they're definitely not gonna be able to do the empty Gatorade bottle, but whatever, just to see what happens. All right. All right. Still slightly a little bit better than the highlight. So, all right. So now I'm just a little bit of a summation. All right. So so both did as expected. Um, for poking, they do both do, did really well, which is what they're they're meant to do. And for cutting and slashing, they did okay, which is understandable for, uh, for for the design they have. There's not much weight up here in the front, even though they do both have a good length to them. Um, 
this one did a little bit better simply because like i said before it's a, it's a little bit uh, thinner behind the edge and the stock itself is a little bit thinner too but yeah so any questions or just um suggestions let me know all right bye